Hi, and thank you for purchasing the Message Builder template. This project is compatible with Adobe After Effects CS6 and above, and we've made great technical efforts to bring you this modern template that doesn't require any use of complicated keyframing. So let's take a look at how to edit and customize it. First, download the Deliver and Zip file and make sure you unpack all the files before opening up the project. Open up the project folder and double click on the AEP file to open it. All the editable elements will be in the UChange folder. So let's take a look inside. First, we have the custom bubbles section. We will do all the edits and add the elements inside the CB ascending or descending compositions. For this example, we will choose the Ascending Comp. So we will open up the CB Ascending Scroll and CB Ascending Conversation. Notice that the Ascending Scroll Composition contains the Ascending Conversation Comp. First, we'll open the Conversation Comp and add elements to it using the sample guides for the chat boxes. We'll add a right bubble, a left bubble, and we'll add another left bubble by duplicating the first one. It's very important to keep in mind that the duplicate has to be made in the project panel, not in the composition panel. So with the composition selected, press Ctrl D or Command D on Max to duplicate it. And now we have custom bubble left 02. We'll bring that into the timeline as well. Next, we'll set each bubble to appear after one second. If you press the left bracket, the layer will snap into position. Now let's open up the bubbles. All the bubble compositions have inside this cross that you can use to move and reposition all the elements inside. To change the text, double click on the layer and add your own text. To change the avatar picture, Open up the custom bubble avatar comp. Select file, import file, and choose your avatar picture. Drag it into the composition. Turn off the sample layers, and you can press S to bring down the scale property and adjust the size if needed. Next, let's open up the emojis. Select the layer and click on the Effect Controls tab. If you can't see this tab, press F3 to bring it up. There are three sliders for the three emojis, and if you pull each one, the emojis will change. If you want to delete an emoji, drag the slider to zero. Now let's take a look at the bubble controls. Select the bubble control layer and go to the effect controls tab. Inside you will find numerous adjustments you can make. You can change the width, the height, 
turn off certain design elements, change colors, strokes, and other avatar settings. If you change the avatar scale, you will need to reposition it from here. Now let's open up the second bubble and this time we'll add an image into the conversation. First select the control layer and turn off the emojis and the text. Next increase the width and the height of the bubble. and turn on the custom image layer, which is the last one in the composition. We'll also reposition the avatar picture. Open up the composition and import your image. Select file, import file, It's important to notice that there are only two bubble image containers inside this project. But you can add as many as you want for other bubble compositions. Here's how to do it correctly. First select the bubble image comp in the project panel and hit Ctrl D or Command D on Max to duplicate it. Then with the duplicate comp selected as well as the old image bubble selected below, press Ctrl Alt and forward slash. This will replace the old image comp with the new duplicate. You can now import the new image in this new composition. Now let's move on to the actual scroll animation, but first we need to arrange the conversation bubbles in the conversation comp. The image bubble is large, so it will take two spaces on the chat template. Inside the scroll comp, the controls are very easy. For every short message, we will need to add a marker on the simple jump layer. And for every long message, such as the one with an image inside, we'll add a marker on the simple jump as on the big jump layer as well. To add markers, simply press the asterisk button. So we'll have a single jump at the one second mark. A big jump at the two second mark. Remember that for the big jump you'll need to add markers on both layers. And a simple jump at the three second mark. We also have a control layer where you can adjust the position and the 3D rotation. Now let's move on to the next category, which is pre-made bubbles. These compositions work in a similar way and since they are pre-made, it's very easy to edit them. So let's open up the PM Ascending Scroll and the PM Ascending Conversation. All we need to do is select the design and choose a right or a left bubble.
and drag it into position. Each bubble comp will have a control layer inside that can be used to change the shape of the dialog box. To add a picture, drag the slider to the far right and turn on the image layer. Open up the composition and add your image. You can press P to bring down the position property and reposition the image if needed. You can also turn off the texts and emojis. For each design you can choose between defaults. To do that open up the sound comp and choose a sound. Now let's move on to the third category, social media chats. This section has two main parts, the notifications screen and the actual chat screens. So let's open up the 00 smartphone screen and we'll run with the Facebook notification 02. If you'd like to use another notification screen, turn off this one and enable another comp and make sure you also enable the sound. Inside the notification comp, you can change the top right number of the avatar and avatar picture. Open up the avatar comp and drag your own picture. Next, we'll open up the Facebook chat comp and chat text. You can edit all the texts inside and add emojis. Remember to move the current time indicator to the checkpoint so you can see all the text layers. To add more emojis, open up the Facebook emojis folder Duplicate the existing one Ctrl D and drag it into the timeline. Now for the animation, we'll switch back to the Facebook chat and simply adjust the markers to get a nice real-like timing. These markers control the timing for the type, send and response actions. Now let's see how this looks in the final main composition. I'll import an image as a background. and drag it into the timeline.
under output module choose format quicktime format options photo jpeg quality 95 remember to check the audio output box hit ok then click next to output tool to set the destination path of your file then just click render thank you for watching this tutorial and good luck with this project